Hello everyone. Um, I thought about doing one last part in this head modeling series uh, just to add some extra details on the lips and I pretty much explained the technique in the previous 10 parts and that's all I have to show and then it all comes to you how much time you spend on this or any character um, to get the desired looks but as far as the technique is concerned I pretty much explained what I had um, so thought just do one more you know adding some extra details here on the lips um, so if you remember this is where we left last time and um, what I'm gonna do is throw one edge loop in this area and just quickly show you one of the new features in Max uh, 2010 uh, under the graphite modeling tools, if you are with the poly object, I am in the edge mode. I can go to the edit option and there is something called a paint connect. We turn it on. And if I hold down the shift key and simply drag my mouse like this, it's going to connect the midpoints of these edges. It's kind of like you're painting and uh, and you know making a new edge loop like that so a neat feature you know could be useful uh, in certain scenarios um, in this case however it would have been probably easier to just select one edge go with the ring selection and then connect them all because they are kind of flowing in in the right way uh, but I just wanted to show you a new tool okay so we have that let's go ahead and turn this option off and I'm going to jump to the vertex mode and um, select certain vertices here and then move them around using the edge constraint. So let's position them here a little bit like this. And let's see, something like this. Okay, now let's leave it. I'm not too concerned about. Uh, you know the shape at this point because I want to focus on adding details on the lips area so next what I'm gonna do is grab these vertices and kind of move them forward a little bit so I'm gonna jump to my paint selection mode and just simply paint it like this and once I have the right number of vertices selected, um, oops, I'm still in the edge constraint mode, turn it off, then move them forward a little bit, I'm going to deselect these guys, move the rest of them forward a little bit, and maybe deselect these guys, move it a little bit forward again, something like this. Okay, and then let's jump to the edge mode, select one of these edges, select edge ring and connect. Okay, with this new edge selected, let's move that forward a little bit, deselect these two guys, move that forward, something like this. And yeah, I'll just leave it at this point. Um, let's throw in one more edge loop. Just select this part here. Select the ring option. Connect them. And again, do the same thing. Move them forward a little bit. Deselect these corner edges. Keep moving them. Deselect a couple more. Bring them forward like this. Okay. And to get a nice sharpness around the lips area, what I'm going to do is throw another edge loop on, on, on the outside here. So let's go ahead and select this edge, ring, connect, and these guys, let's go back to the vertex mode and I'm going to turn on the edge constraint and move them down a little bit. Something like this. Keep going. All right. Maybe move these guys up. 
Okay. Now, you can repeat the same steps and add in more edge loops inside, maybe one more edge loop over here. Um, I'm not going to do that because I already showed you how to do it and it's just going to be wasting your time. But let's go ahead and turn or get out of the sub-object mode and turn on the um, NERMS subdivision and you can see the lips is kind of starting to you know take a shape here. Uh, you still need to move a lot of vertices around to you know fix this uh, but as you can see by having some extra edge loops you're starting to get a shape for the lips and that's pretty much all I had um, for, for this head modeling um, again do watch the part 10 if you haven't and uh, research on the topics such as edge loops and uh, topology and then with this model you still need to add more loops around the eyes area and also around the lips and maybe a couple um, edge loops you know going from the nose and all the way around um, spend as much time as you can and um, good luck and I'll probably see you again do some other tutorials some other time. Thanks for watching.